Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. We're gonna give this about 30 seconds for people to make it through the ad, for the few people that get the ad anyways. Oh, how's everyone doing today? Let's see, well, we'll wait, we'll wait. Not that I have any emotions, just saying. Evening, everyone. Uh, that probably sounded random. All right, let's get this thing started. Move that down there. It's over here. I was uh, watching Prime deals today. Not a whole lot for us. Um, I got a Nikru 36 inch LED was the only thing I got so far. All right, let's 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 say hello to everyone. Uh, we have Candy Overalls, hello. Mark, hello. Scott, hello. Cole Schramm, what's up, buddy? 54 Punchy, um, $5 just because. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Jim is here. What a beautiful picture. Also, hi. Hello, Jim. Tangs and Tanks, hello. Bearded Bob's Fish Room, hello. Uh, we got all kinds of people rolling in now. Dan, hello. Mark, Turbo Fish, Adams Aquatic, um, Boss, Hoss. <laughs> I know that's not it, but hello, Lumpy Dog is in the house. I need to rant, rant there. I feel better. Oh, Gabe's Aquarium, howdy, howdy. If I miss saying hello to you, it's not personal. Just trying to get everyone is pretty hard. Bare Bottoms Aquariums, Bare Bottom Aquariums, hello. So let's see, what else? Uh, nothing good on Prime Day. The LED was like $4 off, nothing big. But I mentioned it a couple weeks ago how I wanted to get one to do a review on it, like a review video. So I guess it's kind of good timing. Hey, four bucks is four bucks. Uh, I think it was like five bucks, actually. I don't know. Uh, what else? Uh, Mumble Bushcraft, hello. Deborah Sanders, hello. Dwayne Perry, hello. Uh, forgot it was Monday. Those are, that's, that means, I think that means you're living a good life. Swiskey is here. What's going on, buddy? If you can't even keep track of what day it is, um, I miss those days. I miss those days. Mr. Fax Machine says he's feeling under the weather, but just wanted to say hello and have a good week, everyone. I hope you feel better, my friend. Uh, did Bob just say he is? Nope. Certainly did not mean it that way. If I did, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Oddball Aquatics. Hey, what's going on? Daryl Deemer. Hello. Friday Fish Facts, Ron is here. Hello, hello, hello. Jay's Aquatics, I have, I have four Nikru LED. I love them for the price. That's what I'm thinking. I have one, and my only complaint is that it gets super duper hot. Uh, even with the uh, intensity turned down, it still gets blazing hot. There was a five gallon Marineland tank that was discounted to $42. It was the one Corey did a video on a while back. There is a two gallon tank for like $20 right now, but I don't even want to mention it because no one should ever own a two-gallon tank. Unless you're doing, like, shrimp, maybe. Jobs Aquarium Tanks with the $4.20 Super Chat. What's going on, Chris? Uh, oh, man, I forgot what I was going to say. Something about that meme I sent you today, but now I don't remember. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for the Super Chat. I appreciate it. KG Tropicals, I'm here. Don't forget to say hi to me. John is here. Hello, John Bracken. How many bobs? There's lots of bobs here. I don't know why I just got that sound, but uh, my Fool 3.0 gets really hot. Mine, when it decides to turn on, gets hot, but nothing like my Night Crew. But I got like one of the very first ones uh, when they first hit like eBay, I don't know, years ago. So hoping it's a little better. Gary Duncan, what's up? Um, not much. So the the uh, the title. Let's let's get to the title. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I do have one announcement. Uh, we might be going back to 5 o'clock. So you East Coasters and anywhere else where it's late, we might be moving back like one hour sooner. We might be going back to the 5 o'clock time. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, it means that I have to get up super duper early, but we'll see. I don't know. And, uh, okay. Okay. That's, the, that's my one announcement. Just watch for that. We might switch back to 5 p.m. Pacific. But uh, the title of the stream, what gets you excited about aquariums? So the reason I thought about this title is because yesterday I did absolutely nothing except sit by my pond and stare at my pond. And I don't even know if it's a pond. It's just a tote. It's not a pond. My tote. The totes that I got from Corey, 
Um, I actually have one filled up now. I moved the Longvin White Cloud minnows out there. Uh, there's a breeding trio of bushy nose plecos in it, and then uh, I got a colony of the rest of my guppies. Not even a colony. It's like seven females and one male. Uh, so as he said, I'm headed to Area 51 with 1,000 water bottles at 1,000% markup. Good luck, my friend. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, yeah, like, I didn't even film it, like, I filmed some, but it's really hard to film because there's so much glare that I didn't even, I didn't really film much. I, I found an underwater camera that I had, like, five years ago, and I posted that on Facebook, but otherwise, it was just so cool to see him swimming, and it was, like, what's, what's really nerdy is that, like, 4.30 this morning, it was just pouring down rain and it was so loud that it woke me up and I actually was like oh man I wonder what the pond looks like right now so I ran outside at 4 30 in the morning in my jammy jams getting soaking wet just like just watching it just dump rain in my pond and watching the fish swim around I don't know it's probably the most excited I've been about anything fish related maybe this year honestly um uh, so I'm curious if there's anything like that that does it for you guys. Uh, Jim Smith says, that reminds me of your long fin white clouds in the video with Jimmy's fish sent me down a Google black hole. I can't find any with that much red on their side. Are they really that crazy colorful? Yes, they are. And apparently they're really red because everyone keeps commenting on the color of the white cloud minnows. And we're probably never going to see that color again because they're in a pond. <laughs> or a tote. I don't know why I keep calling it a pond. But um, I do have a underwater camera somewhere that's newer, that's uh, 4K. So the one I made the video of was on a 1080p. I got a 4K underwater and I'm hoping to buy a GoPro. I'm actually, I, I actually have my camera listed for sale uh, right now. So as soon as this camera sales, sales, sells, I'm going to be buying another one or a GoPro. And uh, it won't really matter that much because I got two of them. I got two of them. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. The one is broken. Uh, one's been broken forever. Uh, I'll sell the broken one. <laughs> the old switcheroo. Uh, where am I at here? I just minimized my windows like an idiot. Here we are. Well, there's so much delay. What is going on here? All right, we're going back to here. Oh my God, what what pajamas do you have, Bob? My guess is dinosaurs and matching bed sheet set. No, no. I'm so nerding out over my colony of sunset wag platies, says Gary. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm trying to think like, Man, I don't remember being like this nerdy for a while. Like, there's not much that would have gotten me out in the rain at 4:30 to go look at in the morning. Uh, aquatic rants and reviews of a 300-gallon Rubbermaid pond full of guppies. I spent a ton, of, a ton of time with it. Yeah, and the thing is, is like it doesn't even look that good. Like, if you guys saw the video on Facebook, um, it's really, uh, it's what I would imagine a pond actually looks like. Like, lots of just debris and mulm on the bottom. Uh, but it all plays a role. It all plays, you know, a part in the pond. And I don't, I don't want a pristine pond. I want something that's going to thrive. Uh, Scottish Aquatics is here.
All right, we're back. So, I don't know how long I was ranting with no sound, but thanks for everyone. Uh, there's also some lag, so yeah. Anyway, so what's going on? My BIOS had an update, and ever since then, uh, like last Saturday, I think, Friday or Saturday, uh, there was a BIOS update, and now my computer freezes randomly for like five seconds at a time. Uh, it's really annoying. I haven't had any time. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I had time yesterday, but I was too busy looking at my pond. <laughs> uh, so we should have sound. I'll wait till you guys say that we have sound. But according to me, we have sound. You sound like the nano USB air pump from Aquarium Co-op. That is actually brilliant. <laughs> and you guys can message me all you want, but my notifications are turned off. So, uh, yeah. KG, this is definitely not an issue with YouTube. This is my own. Uh, my computer freezes for like five seconds, like every couple hours, and it's super annoying. <sighs> so much for Megadesk. I've been working on Megadesk, and now i got a busted computer again. I swear. Like, I always turn off automatic updates on my computer for this specific reason, but as I, like, built a whole new computer out of other parts and pieces from computers that I got, I forgot to turn that off, and now I'm paying for it. So, for everyone who messaged me, thank you. I'm going to turn this off so it stops blinking at me. Okay. Well, at least now I know that if my computer freezes that I have to reset up the mic. That's kind of annoying. Uh... uh Apparently, I have Facebook open like an idiot. Uh, get rid of that. All right. All right, if only you knew someone in tech support. Yep, if only. Uh, we hear you. Yep, 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 we got sound back. Sound and back. What got me excited this year was when Bob got a com computer that didn't crash the stream. Uh, this is This is the first time. Like, we've been pretty... That was a lie. You just gave me flashbacks. I totally forgot about all the issues with the other computer. <laughs> now I'm getting flashback. Uh, how do I keep my fish, fish from staying staying on one side of the tank? Well, Michael, you're going to have to figure out what's causing them to stay over there. Is it flow? A lot of times it's flow. Uh, are they on the opposite side of your filter? Maybe the flow is too high. Uh, so how do you treat ammonia burns from shipped fish? I don't treat them with anything except for clean, 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 clean water. That's all I would do for ammonia burn. Uh, JD Aquatic says, nice thumbnail, Bob. Thank you. That is not my picture. It is someone else's that I now have the rights to. <laughs> uh, have you had any experience with African butterfly fish? Only what I've seen in fish stores. I have never owned one. Um, so yeah, no experience. Brandon guy, I made it. Hello, ice cream man, plop and drop, buddy. Um, well, yeah, but that doesn't help to the fact that they already got ammonia burn. So if they're coming in with ammonia burn, uh, the best thing you could do is just really, really clean water. I I wouldn't give them any meds. Uh, how's all of the free fish, Susan for SLC Aquatics? Hello, the fish are doing amazing. Uh, amazing chewy ltd says how are you how are your new fish also well so and here here's the thing like even all the new fish i got was super duper awesome especially since they were a really good deal um it was still like overshadowed by my tub it was i don't know i i, I was messaging i messaged Corey a couple times yesterday and i'm like dude i've got nothing done today because i'm just staring at my pond all right, the sound's back. You can stop messaging me. <laughs> um, yeah, but the filter is not adjustable. Well, if it's the flow that is causing him to do that, then really the only thing you can do is get a smaller filter. Um, you could try maybe put something by the outtake of the filter to redirect the flow. Um, I don't know what you could do that would look halfway decent, but... Uh, AVB, uh, AVP Aquariums is here, says, what's up, everybody? Got distracted by a centipede, but I made it. Hello. Uh, 
It's had having a friend move. It's had having a friend move. Uh, yeah, so as far as like friends, that's the other thing that like gets me jazzed up. Uh, so last weekend I got to hang out with, you know, Corey, Jimmy, Dean, uh, Robert, and it was just a bunch of dudes talking about fish and frogs and turtles, anything you can imagine, like fish related amphibian related reptile related like we were talking about it and it's just good to just like sit around of course we did the live stream if you haven't seen the live stream you should go watch it um i didn't really i didn't do anything in it but it was still really fun uh that's on jimmy's channel by the way jimmy's channel uh how's the tegu mason the tegu is doing tremendously uh eating me out of house and home but that's to be expected I'm going to be feeding it after the live stream. Pre-filter may help. Yeah, I mean, you could do like a pre-filter sponge and it might slow it down a bit. It'll definitely slow it down when the pre-filter sponge gets clogged and <laughs> gets full of debris. Debris. Um, what is it? Debris or debris? Debris is not a word. So is debris plural and singular? It must be. I don't know. Why am we even talking about that? I don't know. Uh, E-Little says, Bob, can rainbows other than pseudomagales be kept with cherry shrimp? Yes. Almost any rainbow can be kept with cherry shrimp. The, the trick is to start your cherry shrimp colony before you put the rainbows in. Make sure you have lots of either fake plants or live plants. And the, uh, the cherry shrimp will outproduce whatever the rainbow fish pick off. Uh, you sat in a pond, so you did something. Yeah, I did sit in one of the tubs. <laughs> uh, I forgot about pond, Bob the pond fish. Yeah. Otter Creek Aquatics, what's going on, buddy? Fishing Mama Seafood Aquatic, what gets me excited is when I hit that perfect balance for a planet tank and the lighting is right and the ferts are on point. Low maintenance and unexpected breeding rando babies. Random babies is definitely a good one. Um, like the planet tank. Whew. Boy. There is a really good feeling about getting a planet tank on point. Uh, I set up a, a, well, I redid my tank for my puffer fish, uh, my dragon puffer or humpback puffer, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's going through just terrible algae bloom right now. And it's, man, just getting past that like first, like three month window of a freshly planted tank. Uh, and it's going to be really bad for me because... I only used sword plants, so I'd have like no floaters, no uh, stem plants, nothing that really is going to grow fast and uh, suck up all those nutrients. There is literally just, it's, it's a 40 gallon breeder with six sword plants and a ton of algae. But uh, when that's over, hopefully the sword plants will still be alive and it'll look good. Richard says, I got excited when I realized my panda quarries bred in my 10 gallon beta tank. That is awesome. Uh, that was, it's hard having a friend move away. The stream was very silly. If you guys had been drinking, it would have been hilarious train wreck. Yeah, there was only one drinker in that room. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't think you're going to get much of us drinking anytime soon. I quit drinking in 2015 or 16. I don't remember. Uh, it's been It's been a couple years. That's all I know. Um, how are you, how are your puffers? So I now own three puffers. I have one pea puffer. Should probably get more. Uh, my dragon puffer and little steam, the Mabu puffer. Uh, still has a little bit of tail rot, but he's getting better. He's back to eating, which is always good. I think it was like a month ago or so I talked about that. Um, so yeah, he lost a lot of weight, but he's eating now. And uh, hopefully on to bigger and better things. Do you think an established cherry colony in a bushy tank could outbreed the appetites of a pistogramma? Yes, absolutely. Well, I mean, do you have like a hundred epistos in there? Uh, like a pear or trio or six? Oh yeah, I've kept cherry shrimp with epistos. Yep. 2015? How do you know? I don't think it's been four years. I think it's been three. I think we're coming up on three years. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for, but... <laughs> Uh, is it possible to keep, we got, wait, is it possible? It's possible to keep the epistos fed well. I have a colony going with a pair in one of my tanks. There you go. 
John M. Hi, I hope you're doing well, or hope you're well. First live stream, well, welcome. If you could redo your whole 55 gallon breeding for profit tank, would you change anything? Was thinking of doing something similar? Uh, thanks for the great content. Um, I think my mistake was starting off with like red delta guppies, one strain. Uh, I should have gone with like mutt or mixed strain, whatever you want to call from the start, and they would have been a lot easier to sell. Uh, Moscow guppies are generally a bit more expensive than your regular guppies and most stores won't care so like I I spent some money on some like Delta Moscow red whatever's and I was like man I'm gonna be able to bring these and get so much money for them and then I took them into the pit, uh, the, the pit store the pet store and they're like we don't care we're not paying any more than what we do at the wholesaler so yeah I think um, I think that would be it, and maybe, hmm, I think that's it. I, th I think I should have just started out with, like, mixed strain guppies from the start, because fish stores generally don't care. Uh, otherwise, it was a really good experience. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I just don't have the desire to do it anymore. Although, now that I have them all out on my pond, it'll be interesting to see what happens in, like, October when I have to take it down. Uh, you lost a year blackout drinking, Bob. Probably more than a year. <laughs> Made a video on how I got tons of Cyclops, only to realize I've been feeding a colony of Hydra. Uh, at first, I thought I had a guppy with a blue eye. Uh, like a super awesome guppy, but it was a rice fish fry. Nice. Uh, Haley says, I have like 50 black Moscow's right now. Yes, I still have my, my black ones too. Those are the only like, like pure strain that I have right now. Uh, although the, uh, the male guppy, I, the one male guppy I kept is like, I don't know how I can describe it. Like a, like a platinum kind of red. There's some yellow in it. And, uh, so I started with the red uh, Moscow guppies, and then I added what they call a pineapple, which was just uh, red, a little bit of red, but mostly like yellow. And now I got a male that's like a platinum color, mostly platinum, except his fins are uh, red and yellow. So it should be interesting to see what it looks like when they have fry. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, to answer the question in the title of the stream, getting a new fish, newish 75 gallons started up. That is cool. That is cool. Definitely. A percentage of my koi swordtail fry or albino. They kind of look freaky next to the regular fry. The regular fry have big dark eyes and stand out, but albino fry, they look like they have no eyes. Yeah, I generally don't like albino strains of anything. I don't know why. Breeding bristle nose and cherry shrimp together in a 20 long, lots of babies and all well is well. Uh, but is there a dither fish I can use for pleco comfort so they don't so they come out more? Uh. <sighs> I think you're at your max, Mumble. So you're gonna be you're gonna be like overwhelmed in bristle nose, uh, baby bristle nose, and a twenty long, to the point where for them to thrive and survive, you're you're gonna be doing like daily water changes. <laughs> I don't think I would add anything more. Uh, in my fifty-five gallon, like I was doing at most, like when there was tons of tons of things going on in there, I was doing like water changes, like fifty percent every other day. Which is one of the reasons I don't do it anymore. Dwayne Kitchell says, hit the like button, folks. Absolutely hit the like button. I've been there, done that, Dwayne. All right. Uh, anyone have suggestions for a peaceful African fish? Thinking of going African for the 75. The rule isn't 100% strict, but mainly African fish would be fun. Are you talking about like, like old world fish or like African cichlids? If you could get your hands on Nanochromis, those are like a super cool little uh, cichlid. Bob needs a GoPro like the stream, yo. Bob needs a GoPro. I'm, I'm buying a GoPro as soon as someone buys this Canon. So this Canon, is, it's the G7X, right? One sold last week for $500 with four batteries. I have two batteries and I have it listed at $400. So we'll see, we'll see. Uh, it might be tough because this is the G7X Mark II and the G7X Mark III, they've just been sending out 
for to like YouTubers to to uh, test out. So the new model's coming out. However, the only real difference is that it will have a microphone jack. Uh, same lens, same everything, same same. I don't know. Like I watched a couple videos on it, and I was like, why is this camera like seven hundred fifty dollars? I have no idea. Uh, but this one's pretty good. <laughs> you should buy it. It's really good. Best camera in the world right here. $400. Um, Steve Aquatic Aquatics, African fish, not necessarily cichlids. Something going to be plant friendly, although the tank won't focus on plants. Oh, well, there's all kinds of like tetras. Um, man, do Congo tetras. Why not Congo tetras? Uh, Bob sent it over here. Hey, the first person to PayPal me $400 will get this camera for free. That's all you got to do. Uh, my, oh, Mile High Pleco's been lurking since the beginning. What's up, Trevor? I feel like I haven't seen you hardly ever. Like, you don't even send me pictures of Pleco's anymore. What's going on, man? You're breaking my heart, man. You're breaking my heart. Oh, my gosh. Uh, best single puffer for a 90 gallon Fajaca. A uh, 90 gallon is too small for an adult Fajaca. Uh, 129 is like the bare minimum for a Fajaca, in my opinion. Like the bare minimum. Um, single puffer, so anything else is like it's gonna be either you can have them in a group or like you could have just one if you wanted to, but you don't want to dedicate a whole tank to it because that'd be kind of boring. Uh, does anyone have experience with the least killifish, Heterandria formosa? I think of getting some for a five gallon. Yes, AVP Aquariums. I have kept them and bred them. They are a fun uh, little fish to breed. And I had them for a really long time. Corey's had them, so I've seen them. I've had them. Uh, they're pretty cool. Definitely get them. You can't go wrong. Uh, hi, Kiwi. Oh, more people coming in. Um, saying hello. Hello, hello, hello. Why does watching Bob make me want barbecue? I don't know. You want to know a fun fact? I don't even own a barbecue. How ri ridiculous is that? Uh, I need to get a barbecue. But honestly, ever since I got like cast iron skillets, like that's all I cook my my meat with, cast iron skillets. It's a way faster and uh, it tastes really good. I don't, but now I want some barbecue. I'm about $399.98 short. Well... Your two cents is the best offer I've gotten so far. <laughs> You're leading the pack. <laughs> uh, oh, dang, Tanks is here. What's up, buddy? So my local reptile store picked up a breeding trio of Tokay geckos, which now they have like a couple breeding groups of Tokay geckos. Not that I have any idea what kind they are, but yeah, it should be interesting. They're going to start uh, breeding them. Well, they have been breeding them, but now on a bigger scale. But I, I don't know. They're not normal. There's some color morph, but honestly, I don't know enough about them to tell you. I just, anytime I see a Tokay to gecko, I'm always like, oh, Dank would like this. Uh, yeah, I suck. Oops. Uh, Bob sucks. <laughs> Duh. Peritilapia pollinae is a great one, but they are endangered. Just search cichlids of Madagascar. I had one of those that I got at my at the Seattle Fish Club, the Greater Seattle Aquarium Society. Uh, and I got it for, I think, $1. It was the only reason I bought it. <laughs> I bid $0.03. Cents. What's the best algae eater for a 55-gallon aquarium? Kind of depends on what type of algae. Uh, oh, auction it is. I got 10 bucks. Whoo! Casey Summers is here. What's up, Casey? Uh, 10 bucks. We're up to 10 bucks. Hey, if that auction gets up to, like, over 300 then I would start seriously considering it. Uh, you need one, Bob? I'll have... Wait, I'll have some next year. I do need one. Absolutely, I need one. What is going on here? Um, I now... Wait, I now reject your advice on the breeding for profit tank. Can't trust the person who doesn't own a barbecue. Good day to you, sir. And I just lost a subscriber. <laughs> uh, what am I looking at here? Okay, something is definitely different. I'm sorry. Um, oh, there we go. Much better. I knew this whole time something was better. Uh, I'm afraid this reptile thing will never end with Caleb. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. 
Um, honestly, it ended with me. I got into it at about 10 or 11 years old, all the way up until like the end of high school. And then, you know, kind of, kind of went on to that stage in my life and then got back into it in my like late twenties ish. I don't know. It's all just a blur. Uh, <laughs> 25 cents. Well, you're already out. Someone's up to 10 bucks. Uh, BBA Bob Vance advanced refrigeration is up to 10 bucks. Uh, but yeah, I wish I never got out of it. Uh, yeah. So I got out of it. I sold off like some really amazing reptiles that are really hard to get now and way more expensive. So yeah, it kind of sucks. Flat top griddle is where it's at. Man, I love my cast iron. I mean, to be able to like cook a steak perfectly in like 12 minutes, that is just amazing. Ooh, Lumpy Dog is up to 29.99. Aquatic Mama dollar ninety. We're up to thirty. We're up to thirty. Uh, Flying Fox works great for Blackbeard algae. So, if you guys watch my barb video, like the research I did on the rosy barb says that they eat Blackbeard algae, and I really want to get them. I want to put rosy barbs in a pond outside so bad. But I also want to get them to see if they will actually eat blackbeard algae. Because I've got a lot of tanks with a lot of blackbeard algae. And uh, blackbeard algae, it's really cool looking if your whole tank is covered in it. It's not really cool if you're running any type of filtration besides a sponge filter. <laughs> I've had blackbeard algae like just absolutely destroy my hang on back filters. Because it'll actually go up in and grow in the filter. And it's, whew, it's crazy. It's pretty cool, but those things add up over time. Bob, I bid 350 pesos for the camera. Um, no. <laughs> uh, I love setting up tanks. I love setting the tanks up. Making backgrounds are fun. Yes, making um, DIY backgrounds for terrariums and paludariums is awesome. Uh, that's probably the other thing I'd like been excited about uh making terrariums and paludariums i'm like got plans to do some more and i've been like sketching them out and stuff so screw the camera can we bid on some plecos i have one adult l128 for sale but i really don't want to ship it <laughs> uh grammys eat blackbeard algae too i i actually have Actually, I think the 128 is probably the Blue Phantom Pleco. Not the one I just got from Jimmy because it's still small, so it's still really blue. But my adult is probably the only Pleco that I would sell right now. Both my Mystery Snails and my Swordtails eat BBA, even though the internet swears that neither will. The Swordtails eat it uh, until their bellies swell. Well, that's pretty awesome. Uh, lower the level and soak it with peroxide. Uh, yeah, I do that in like my planted tanks. So any any tanks that have like like real plants in them, then I'll kill off BBA. But like the uh, the tank from my last video, um, there's just no reason for it. I think blackbeard algae is actually pretty beneficial. Uh, but yeah, so what I do now as far as like my hang on back filter. So I've got a 75 gallon my 75 gallon African cichlid tank is just layered in blackbeard algae, and it's really cool. Uh, it's not cool because it killed off all my jungle bow. So I had a jungle bow background, like all through the back. But like over time, the, the blackbeard algae just overtakes everything. So it's killed off almost all the jungle bow. But it also goes up into the filter and then it like grows on the filter. And I've tried like, you know, pre intake sponges. That, stuff, that doesn't work uh, for blackbeard algae. So what I do now is I have the AquaClear 75 with two different intakes on it. And so when I'm doing maintenance, I pull one out, I dip it in hydrogen peroxide, I put the fresh one on, and then I just swap them back and forth. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, the Longhouse Inc. Yeah, I made it. Hello, fish fam. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, already got that one. The only fish stores that gave me store credit for fish I bred closed this month. Yep. Yep. Mine closed this month, too. Actually, last month, but... Uh, it hasn't even been shut down for a month and it's really sad and I briefly briefly thought about opening my own fish shop uh, just because I think it would be super duper fun 
And, you know, it would be cool to get new fish every week, even though you'd have to sell them. <laughs> That's the pro I don't know that I could. That's the problem. So I like briefly looked into it, and uh, it's still something that's on the back of my mind. And but uh, I'm really trying to focus on other things right now. So you know, maybe in the future that that'll be in the cards. But <clears throat> I think right now I gotta say no to opening my own fish store. Uh, I say surf up, but if I was definitely people's ears and fish stores, well, I watch your video. No, what? Uh, oh, you guys are talking to each other. Dry scales over wet scales. What? Tell Caleb I said always remember young Padawan. You guys are talking about something and I'm completely lost. I know what I'll do. I'll start my own paper company. <laughs> I'll start my own fish company. If that one fails, I'll start another one. And then another one. I've got no shortage of fish store names. Bob, given your experience with both... If you had a blank slate, would you want would you paint the black glass of a 75 or get a 3D background? Okay, so that's an interesting question. And all of it comes all that comes down to is hmm how much money is in my bank account? I think a 3D background is always going to look better than just a painted black background. Uh, but unfortunately, they're insanely This is happening right now. Excellent. Hold on, I gotta dump out my keyboard. It's dripping. We'll just leave that upside down. Oops, I just broke something. Are you guys still there? <laughs> this is a freaking train wreck. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, dang it, it got on my phone. Uh, anyway, so yeah. All it would come down to is how rich I was at the time. Uh, my BB grate grows on plastic plants and sways with the current. Looks uh, like yours. It looks cool. It does look cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I need to get this off of. Oh, just a bunch of my stickers. That's no biggie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is such a train wreck. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't do this like every week for the last three years. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, what did I miss? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, fish store, blah 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 blah. Uh, fish store war was with Corey. No, because one one I wouldn't do any type. Um, I wouldn't do online selling. Like, I would only resort to, like, like even shipping fish I don't want to do. Uh, and I, and I, I don't want to do any type of e-commerce. So it would strictly be, like, a like an actual, like, we sell fish only type of store. Fish and plants. Uh, it says I'm still alive. I hope I'm still alive. Uh, so yeah, it, there'll never be fish store wars. Plus, he's like a good hour away. And Bob makes a mess of bad Bob. Uh, how do you get rid of brown algae? Less feeding, Elliot. So don't feed as much and more water changes. You could also get, uh, like, there's a lot of shrimp that'll eat that. Bristle nose, pleco, snails. Uh, Pepsi syndrome. Pepsi is like, Pepsi is gross. Uh, please don't electrocute yourself, Bob. Well, I'm kind of immune to that. Like, I've electrocuted myself so many times that it doesn't even hurt that much anymore. Uh, no more caffeine for Bob. Hi, Bob and everyone. DP, hey, DPK Fish Aquariums. What's up, buddy? Um, I want candy. All right. Anyways, I'm a responsible YouTuber. What do, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Brown dye toms are a favorite of autos. Auto sinkless, yep, yep. Uh, well, all right, I've got no messages, so I must not be broken. I must still be live. All right. Priscilla MK Art, hello, 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 hello. Uh, Shelby, I saw you. I don't know if I said hi because I don't remember, uh, but hello. How can I grow algae, Bob? 
less water changes, more light, and more food. Unless there's like a specific... Thank you, Susan. Unless there's a specific type of... Uh, oh, hey, look. I have a towel right here. What am I doing? What am I doing here? It's still like all over, guys. It's everywhere. Time to buy a new keyboard. I mean, I just got a new mouse, so... Hey, at least I was smart, and I, like, set my cameras up over here. Like, you can't see it, but I've got, like, three cameras right here. And I put them on my receiver. I've got a surround sound receiver right here uh, that is now getting wet, but I put them on top of that. So, uh, at least my cameras didn't just get doused. Oh, let's see... All right, I found a twenty dollar bill, Bob. What's the bid at? The bid's still at thirty. Bob is is wait, Bob is Thor. He can't shock himself. Yeah, I, I've seriously been electrocuted like so many times. Um, so like a long, 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 long time ago, I used to work at a car stereo shop and I did installations. And uh, like one time, I accidentally took a wrench and touched both battery terminals at the same time. That was pretty fun. Uh, I've also done. Oh, man. In ninth grade, I electrocuted myself in electronics class, screwing around. Uh, I'm not, not going to say what I was doing, but it was really dumb. And I got electrocuted. I got electrocuted about three weeks ago at work uh, by touching both prongs of a uh, universal power center. And, uh, oh, God, there's so many I can't remember. Uh, Elliot says, my guppy fry just became three weeks old. That's cool. Brandon Guy says, I love to look at Aqua Decor backgrounds, but they're so expensive. Yeah, Aqua Decor, Aqua Decor has by far the best looking backgrounds. Like, it's not even close. Um, I won the auction for a bobblehead on eBay. Today is a good day. What's it a bobblehead of? I saw a bobblehead of uh, Bob Ross, and I wanted it so bad. But it was, like, for a contest, not, not like, something you could buy. But I was like, dang. I would totally... I don't own a single bobblehead, but I would own a Bob Ross bobblehead. Uh, dude put a paper clip. Oh, I've done that, too, when I was a... Also, when I was a freshman, I thought it would be a good idea to take a paper clip, right? Put, like... What was that? Two paper clips? I don't remember exactly what I was doing, but I was like, I'm going to light this light bulb up by sticking paper clips in the light socket and then touching the light bulb. Uh, needless to say, I took out power to the whole apartment complex. <laughs> that was that was fun. They didn't catch me, though. They didn't know it was me. They had to come and reset all the circuit breakers for the whole complex. So, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, I have yet to, to pee on an electric fence, though, because my stupidity does have some level. Uh, and there are some parts of my body that I don't want to hurt, <laughs> amazingly enough. That is one of them. <laughs> so, no, I have never done that. <laughs> uh, whoever said Pepsi Syndrome just blew my mind. A nice 40-year-old SNL reference. Oh, is that what it is? Um, 40 years ago, that that's back when Saturday, Saturday Night Live was pretty good. Uh, what fish can I keep with Corydoras? Corydoras are an excellent community fish. So really, any community fish... Uh, tetras, rasboras, uh, plecos, dwarf cichlids, uh, rainbow fish, obviously, like barbs, just about anything. They have Bob Ross bobbleheads on eBay, but it's $34.99. That might be worth it. Like, it would be my one and only bobblehead. <sighs> okay, Crystal, pets and plants. Oh, is Crystal here? Hello, Crystal. Oh, yeah, there she is. Hello, Crystal. Uh, boy, all these new people, like, I'm, like, missing saying hello to. If you just joined, uh, I just spilled my drink all over my keyboard and my desk. So if I missed you, hello and welcome. Uh, if the power ever goes out, check on Bob. Yeah, and now I'm, like, screwing around with, like, solar power right now. So that should be fun. <laughs> Uh, John says it's almost virtually impossible to buy a Bob Ross painting. I actually looked the other day, well, like a month ago, and the cheapest one I found was $224,000. Um, I don't know if there's like cheaper ones that are just not for sale, but as far as like one that was being like a legit one being sold, it was $224,000. So yeah. 
Uh, I had a 400 watt heater break and a salt water setup. Suck my hand in there. Won't do it again. Dang. Yeah. Uh, Prime Day shopping while I listen. Deals are meh. Yep. I will say they are better than last year. Like last year, the only thing on Prime Day was like all the crap that nobody wanted to buy and has been sitting in their warehouse for like 10 years. Like last year's Prime Day was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, fun fishology. Hello, hello, hello. I watched your uh, store tour. Um, pretty interesting. Lots of, uh, well, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't really like stores that have, like, I don't know. I'm just not going to say it. How about that? It was it was a good video, but not like a lot of their tank setups I didn't like. But it's a fish store, like they don't need nice tank setups. So I guess that shouldn't even matter. I don't know. Whatever. Marlene, uh, hello. Byron, hello. Uh, I have a chance to get thirteen rainbow fish for sixty dollars, but eight makes but eight males and five females. So what should I do? buy them of course like how could you ever say no to rainbow fish bob ross foundation owns 99 percent of them well and they're, they're all like yeah dna test for dogs is more expensive than humans <laughs> is that true is eco complete still at 1899 it was at 1999 when i checked yesterday uh the water box hello the water box the bearded bob's fish room saying hello uh, everyone's saying hello now. I, I bet someone else's stream just ended. What kind of rainbow, Susan? I mean, I was going to ask what kind of rainbows they were, but honestly, it doesn't matter. They're rainbow fish, so buy them. Uh, do you have, would you have, a snake? Says Mason. I have a Irian Jaya female carpet python. So, yes, absolutely. I'm actually looking for some rough green snakes for a different project I'm working on, which are... Um, a very inexpensive snake. You can get like three of them for like $44, but they're not really in season right now. So they're a little bit more expensive, but uh, that's for a whole other project that I've never even talked about and I'm still not going to talk about. So there. Uh, yes, I have one snake. Have you ever heard of an LFS selling fully set up and skip tanks on commission? No, but I've heard of people doing that, but I haven't heard of stores doing it. Um... I don't know that there's much of a market for that. Like I see a lot of people in both fish and reptile world try to like do like these custom enclosures, custom setups. And uh, I don't know, I feel like it just never works out that well because a lot of people, for one, it takes a lot of time and people don't want to pay that. So it's still, Eco Complete is still at $19.99, all right. Uh, the water box said, oh my God, Bob says my name, throws underwater, wait throws underwear at what what are you doing you're crazy dude <laughs> um set up subscribe and save an eco complete and it's less than 17 dollars delivered get a bag of eco complete delivered to your door every month honestly that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world uh mason says rough green snakes are insectivores yep that's why i want them um hope i didn't st hope they didn't stick oh geez come on we must be getting towards the end because this is going downhill fast. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Throwing your underwear at the screen, uh, you know, it's not gross unless it's unless it sticks. If it sticks, then it's gross. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I agree with fish door criticism. I suppose I shouldn't. I should have more clearly said in the video it was amazing fish in the store. The store itself, uh, like most, could be improved. Yep. Unfortunately, like, at least in my area, there's so many fish stores, like, going out of business. I think there's been three or four in the Seattle area already this year. And so that just makes me want to start one even more. Especially because when you have, the model is already here, right? The model to a successful fish store is, like, an hour away from me. And all you'd have to do is copy what Aquarium Co-op does. Like, it's that easy. It's not even hard. Uh, obviously you have to, you know, have some business sense, but like there's so many fish stores shutting down because they're just not changing with the times. They're, they're just stuck in their ways and 
It's unfortunate. My husband doesn't agree with me that spending money on bags of dirt. What's wrong with <laughs> Yeah. Uh, rough green snakes are most of the time wild caught. That is also true, Mason, which is very unfortunate. Um, but they will have a very good life, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> uh, if it sticks, then it's gross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Susan says, a variety of rainbows, both Monty, Striped, and the other one. Oh, you mean the other 149 possibilities. <laughs> uh, if, if they're adults, that's a pretty good deal. If you have a tank for them, why not? I mean, 60 bucks is pretty cheap for adults. Well, it's really cheap for adults, to be honest. <laughs> then tell him to stop buying Pokemon cards. Yeah, if if he's buying Pokemon cards, then you definitely get to buy bags of dirt for eighteen dollars. Uh, Bob, if you like stand-up comics and podcasts, look up Two Bears One Cave. So I have a love-hate relationship with stand-up comics. Comics, like I hate going to see stand-up comic comics. Uh, the only person that I've ever gone to and I've enjoyed seeing. Okay, so there's a, there there are a few of them. Uh, there was one in Vegas, but that's mostly because I was like front row and interacting with them the whole time and heckling. Um, not not heckling like rude, but just like there, we had a, like a really good back and forth through like the whole show. And then the other one is uh, I went and saw Joe Rogan down in Seattle, and that was a really really good show. But as far as like. We have at my work, every Wednesday, we have uh, stand-up comedy, and it's just, I mean, it's not like these are, like, big-budget names, but I, I think I'm just, like, over it. I think, I, I think, I, I think I've just seen them too many times. Uh, but anyways, Priscilla MKR with a $1 super chat. Thank you very much. Make $1, make you holla. $1 at a time. Uh, your mom's house is the best stand-up podcast. Uh, I was really, like... Is that I, I don't know if that's a real thing or if that's like uh, your mom joke. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> uh, Priscilla MK Hart, what am I bidding on? You are bidding on a gently used Canon G7X. Uh, actually, this is the broken one. This one right here. This is the one that works. Okay. So broken one working one all right uh two bears one cave is amazing i saw tom oh it's tom segura tom segura two weeks ago uh oh well i'm jealous of seeing tom segura um okay so okay i'll, I'll definitely check that one out now but uh your mom's <laughs> i still don't know if that's a joke or not uh he's not a cheap date i don't know what you're talking about it's a real oh it is real okay so it's not a your mom joke. Your mom's house is the best stand-up podcast. Uh, I, you know, I've actually never listened to a podcast in my life, but I feel like that's not saying much because, like, I watch them on YouTube, and that's basically I listen to them on YouTube, so that's basically a podcast. But I've never gone to like iTunes and like downloaded a podcast in my life. Um, oh, yes, Bob, a clock mom, no, I don't want that. Uh, nope, nobody does. That's that's the white and red fish. What's up down the wormhole? Uh, the gently used camera into the fish tank. Uh, yep. This is... Nope, that's the working one. This is... You know, I'd be willing to bet that you could probably get this camera fixed for like an hour's worth of labor. You could probably take it to a camera shop and it's probably just something simple because everything works like it'll it turns on and then just immediately shuts off so yeah i bet it's something simple oh <sighs> what is it what is it worth so like I, I, I mentioned it earlier but one sold last week for 500 dollars with four batteries i only have two batteries so i'm listing it at 400 and i've had probably like six people message me but you know how that goes. So, uh, my wife just asked when and where we're getting another sturgeon. <laughs> yeah, um, I Joe Rogan every day, and Bob just said he never listens to the Aquarius podcast. Just saying, 
That is true. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I I don't podcast, so I just I just don't podcast. <sighs> uh, what else have we got going on here? I feel like there's a comment that I read and then I missed. Uh, Susan says I'm about to pay for those rainbows, so I'll have a few more. So I will have a few for sale soon. So are you buying them and then selling the ones you don't want? Is that what you're doing? Uh, thoughts on Neon Gobi tank mates? Smaller. So Neon Gobies are awesome, and I would just get some, any smaller community fish like Rasboras, Tetris, things like that. Uh, oh, sorry, I can't buy the camera now. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want to ship it anyway, so I don't want anyone here to buy it because I have to ship it. Um, you should get. You should get one of those. There's one of those big above ground pools on sale for Prime Day. You can get one of those and put a sturgeon in it, Trevor. Why on earth did I just mix up Joe Rogan and Dana White in my brain? Too much UFC on the brain, I guess. Yeah, so, like, I really like Joe Rogan, but I really don't like Dana White. But I guess they're, like, just, you know, two bald dudes. Like, probably pretty easy to mix them up. Usually the retractable lens jammed causes... Wait, usually the retractable lens jammed caused that I had the camera. Oh, oh, interesting. So you're saying it was the retractable lens that caused that. Hmm. See, I can do stupid stuff like this, like stick my finger in the lens and it's, it's broken anyway, so who cares? Huh, I might have to play with that later. I have access to a Mini X. I'm not too worried. A Mini X? What's a Mini X? I don't know what a Mini X is. Okay, okay. 1,000 pesos for both cameras. You pay shipping. <laughs> um, no deal. Both in the bald and white category. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of us in that category. Uh, KG Sick Lives and I are in that category. Uh, who else is in here in that category? I'm sure there's a few. Uh, oh, how many bows money for a 55 gallon? I probably wouldn't do more than 10, maybe 12 max. Um, anything more than that? And I feel like it's a little overcrowded and you don't really get like their full behaviors. There's, it's just too much in my opinion. Uh, when they're smaller, you could do like 20, 30. But as adults, I feel like 12 is kind of my max in a 55 gallon. Uh, Ice Cream Man says, I closed the output down I closed the output down a little on the FX5 to slow the water down. Will that hurt the motor? Uh, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. I doubt it. Uh, where do you get your news? CNN? Uh, that's not news. You have survived. Did an hour, another hour on YouTube. It was close, though. Yeah? We froze. I spilled my drink all over everything. Sometimes burning has to be the best YouTube comedy ever. Something's burning has to be the best YouTube comedy show ever. <sighs> all right. So it is true. It has been an hour. If I didn't have fish to feed and dogs to feed and myself to feed, I'd probably stay a little bit longer, but I cannot. So I'm going to go. Thanks to the few super chatters we had, the people that shared. Thanks for the people that showed up and the likes and all the rest i appreciate it uh next week we'll still be at 6 p.m pacific and probably the week after but maybe after that we might be back to five o'clock so hopefully it won't be as bad for the east coasters here and i don't i don't think i got anything else for you so thank you thank you thank you and i'll see you all next week